Good morning to my brothers and sisters in Christ. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. You know, upon looking into the uh, readings today, I'd like to look into the attitudes of the spies that Rahab has protected, and also in the Old Testament reading, and also the five wise virgins who had been prepared by having their lamps uh, with oil and ready to face the darkness knowing that they have the light and meet the bridegroom. I, I, I see a word that is so alive to me, and that word is being unafraid. I, I would rather use that word for now, unafraid, because it's a very human um, attribute because we all fear. I mean, we all come to a point that there is that emotion of being afraid. But when we begin to walk in faith, we begin to be unafraid. And we step into the, 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 the realm of bravery that we can face uh, with boldness the things in life. This, this lesson to me is something that I, even in, my, in this stage of my life, am still learning. But I, I can really see God teaching his people to be unafraid, to come out with boldness and enter into the bravery that God has really bestowed on us. Just as God has still, be bold, be strong for the Lord your God is with you. Incidentally, today also marks, uh, we will be uh, uh, celebrating the Eucharist today, and I would like to offer the Eucharist in behalf of uh, in the legacy of my father, Francisco Orvina, or known to many as Brother Frank. Uh, 42 years ago, he went to be with the Lord on this day. Uh, July 15, and if there is one person that, actually two persons, my father and my mother, who are instrumental to my, the ministry that I am involved in, and also my brother, uh, Father Obet, my other brother who is in uh, Edmonton, Canada, uh, Father Jeff, and my sister, Meg, who, is, uh, who was a uh, instrumental in the drama ministry of the church. One of the things that we really learn from them is stepping into the realm of courage. Courage. Knowing that God is able to do things. You know, like my father, he, he actually, I, I have always looked upon him as a brave man. And I know he would, if he, I would talk to him, there would be points in his life that fear would also grip him. But he always shared to me what it is to be unafraid and to be, uh, face life with that courage and that bravery. The first point, uh, time that he did that in teaching me how to be brave and how to be unafraid was uh, during the young men's uh, baptismal to, the, <laughs> to ma manhood and that is circumcision. Uh, how he would share to me, wala yan, hindi yan, ma hindi yan masakit. You know, he, he would taught me these, he would teach me these things. And how he, uh, the family, he would always teach us uh, when the ladies are so much afraid with epis, cockroaches, you know, he, he, would, he would always say, Wala yan, tatapakan lang niyo yan. And he has this, I don't know if he was just jesting. He said, Pinang, pinang tatapal pa namin niya ng sugat. Uh, you know, uh, it, <laughs> I, I don't know if he's jesting. But he, he really taught us about uh, being courageous and being unafraid. And even when we already were uh, born again and we were involved in the church, in the beginnings of Cathedral of the King, and a lot of you probably didn't know this, or don't know this, 
that uh, we, we really didn't have a lot of offerings, really, uh, because uh, at that time there were still a few people and we were renting a space in, uh, in uh, Manila Garden Hotel. And even way back the late 70s and the early 80s, rentals in these places are not cheap. But I remember him always telling the pastor, uh, Pastor Tom, then um, let us tithe to our need. Kung ano yung pangangailangan natin, mag-tithe tayo. This is what we need in order for us to do operations in the church. Let's tithe. And he taught me a lot about that um, in tithing and giving and to really be surrendering uh, your, your resources to God. He was unafraid of giving. He's a giver. My, my father was a real giver, my father and my mother. They taught us what it is to be unselfish and how it is to be, that is, you know, uh, unafraid of releasing your resources to help others. And that has been a legacy that he has get, uh, given to us and given to this church. And looking at the scriptures right now, especially the ten uh, wise virgins, the preparation that uh, they have of really putting oil in their lamps, much like um, also my, the people that I've always uh, looked up to, taught me to be prepared in ministry, in, in life generally, and how it is to uh, put in the resources of the word, prayer, the sacraments, into our lives that we are able to face life unafraid, to face life with courage and meet our Lord. Because there are situations that, as we, that demands us to make that bold step of courage. And that only comes if we are prepared. That's another aspect that I have seen in my, my father. And teaching us to really be prepared. To really be unafraid to face things because you have uh, made sure of the things that uh, made you prepared by uh, even in the, the things in life. So brothers and sisters, today uh, as we journey through ordinary time, there is, if there is one word that you would remember today, and that is being unafraid. As you walk into that boldness because you place in the word prayer in your life, you are prepared to face the things and the challenges of life. Prepared to meet the Lord. Because he comes to us in many, many forms, in many, many faces, in many, many people's lives. We are unafraid. As we do step into that state of being unafraid, we step into the place of courage and bravery. Because God, is with us. Be bold, be strong. The Lord your God is with you. The peril of this, if we are not prepared, if we do not place these things in our lives, we will be afraid, not unafraid. We will be afraid, just like the other virgins, the other five virgins, the foolish virgins. So, brothers and sisters, the call in ordinary time for us to truly be prepared that we can be unafraid to face life in boldness. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen.